sorry for the wind noise. It's pretty windy outside today, but let's just get right into the video. So quickly, first and foremost, we'll do a quick walk around on the Jeep, and then we will go on a drive portion to see how this Wrangler drives. So under the hood of this particular Wrangler is the new two liter turbocharged four cylinder. And that is going to be good for 270 horsepower and 290 pound feet of torque. That is all through an eight speed automatic transmission. So a little bit less horsepower than the V6, but a little bit more torque. And the torque is available at a lower RPM range than on the V6. And then I did forget to mention fuel economy is going to be 22 around town and 24 on the highway. And to finish things up front, we have these cool little hood vents that are on the roof. Con. Obviously, you can lower the windshield, the signature LED head lamps with cheap signature front grille and then the bumper with the fog lamp for the Rubicon but overall the front is, is very distinctly Jeep but it looks a lot more modern than with the LED turn signals on the side. Over in the back here we can see those parking sensors are integrated into the back bumper. They have the backup camera right here behind the tire now and then you still do get that traditional Jeep door with keyless entry for the rear tailgate and the window pops up. You can see there is plenty of storage space back here. You get a little 12 volt. You can fold those seats down for a little bit extra storage space. And you can see the nice roll cage and it is finished in this mojito green that the rest of the Jeep's finished in on the inside. And then if you look up, this particular one has that sky roof, which is also new for these Wranglers. And obviously here is the key fob for the Wrangler. Just press that twice. First time locks it. Second time we'll start it up. And then you'll be able to hear that little turbo four cylinder. We're gonna be popping around the back here. There are no switches on the sides of the door, just the door handle. With Jeep, they like to put everything in the center. So you can see window controls right there. You got a power outlet, you got your little USB ports. You can see this nice mesh on the back with your little net here. And then you can look up to see that sky roof. I will open it up a little bit when we get into the front, but there is actually more space in here than the previous generation with the Jeep. So it's actually not a bad place to be at all. Up around the side, we can see it has keyless entry, so you want to touch that to lock it, and then you put your hand on the back of the door handle to unlock it. But we can see right here, we have your door lock controls, your rear controls, and your door handle on the side. It is manually adjustable for the seat with this cool little lever to pull the seat forward and backwards, but we're gonna step in so we can get out of that wind. But you can see the light controls there on the side. You get your regular controls for the center stack screen right there. You have your speedometer, tachometer on the other side, voice controls. And then you can see this is for your adaptive cruise control, your regular cruise control. And then around on the back, you can see the rocker panel for the radio controls. Start up the Wrangler, all you have to do is put your foot in the brake and push the push button. And then it'll start up, the gauges will do a little bit of a sweep right there. You can pop over to the center screen right here. It is, everything in here is like waterproof basically. So everything's sealed so that you can actually pretty much spray down the interior if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend that though. But this is the same Uconnect system that you see in all of FCA's other products. So if you want a little bit more in-depth look at it, into it, um, I have a video on the Ram Limited that has the same um, touchscreen system and a couple of FCA's 2018 products. Those off-road pages that I went um, over on the Grand Cherokee are the same here in the Wrangler. It just gives you a bunch of off-road information. It's really neat. Popping into reverse, you can see the backup camera pops up with the trajectory lines right there. And then popping down here, we can see all of the analog controls for like the heated seats, heated steering wheel. For example, I'm gonna turn those off. It's a little bit warm for that. Dual zone climate on this. This is to turn off the auto stop, start, electronic stability control. You have your parking sensors, hill descent control. If you wanna turn off the screen. Similar in Wrangler fashion, you still get your window controls in the center right there. A little 12 volt outlet. You get more charging stations here. You have your axle lock right there, sway bar disconnect. It's a little bit easier system than the previous generation. And then you have auxiliary switches right there. You have your shifter right here to switch it into the different drive modes. You got your two wheel high, four wheel high, neutral, four wheel low, and then your regular shifter down here, which you can do a manual mode through that eight speed automatic transmission. And then you do get a center console here with tons of storage space. Still get that grab handle, glove box down below in the Wrangler. And then you do get these nice seats. Right here is probably what you most be excited about. So this is the sky roof. It's just like a regular sunroof. So you basically just press that button there and it'll open it up all the way. I'm not gonna go all the way onto the sky roof, but you get the point. You can just basically open it right like that. You don't have to pull any latches or anything or use any power tools. It's just a button and the roof is fully open. It's a really neat feature that they put on these Wranglers.
So we are setting off here in the 2019 JL Wrangler Rubicon. If you guys can remember, I did a video on a pre-production unit of a JL Wrangler. So this is actually my first time doing a video on a full-on production unit of the Wrangler. And I actually have some really good news for you on some things on it. So if you remember from the pre-production unit I did, there was some little weird quirks with it, like tons of wind noise and all that. Not with this full production unit, so obviously it's, you know, the quality on it's a lot higher. And this is also my first time driving that two liter four cylinder. And the low end torque on it's really good. It seems to get up and go um, a lot easier than the V6. And so for an around town car, it's definitely a lot more drivable. So we're going to go on the interstate here to get a little bit of an acceleration with this new turbo four cylinder. And everyone knows the Wranglers aren't like race cars or anything like that. That's not what you get a Wrangler. You get it for the off-road capability. And since this is a Rubicon with the sway bar disconnects and the axle locks and the more aggressive tires and the higher suspension, it is going to do the best off-road from the factory with the Wranglers. But in terms of acceleration, it actually gets up and goes really well. I'm pleasantly surprised by this turbocharged motor. still do love the 8-speed automatic transmission on these new Wranglers, just because you can be at a lower gear when you're on the highway, so you have a little bit less noise in the cab, and it makes the driving experience a lot more comfortable. And so what I would say with this is V6 or turbocharged motor depends on what you're using the vehicle for. If you do a lot of around town driving, I would recommend going for the turbocharged motor. If you do a little bit more highway, the V6 might have a little bit more oomph on the top end because it's got a little bit more power. So then that would be the motor to go for in that case. And then to wrap things up on the Wranglers, I mean, these things sell themselves. Super unique SUV. There's really not a lot else like it on the market currently. And so if you're in the market for a little bit more unique SUV, or you just love the Wranglers in general, the JL generation is the generation to go for. It's a lot more usable on a daily basis. It's a lot more comfortable. It's definitely a better vehicle than the JK, no questions asked. And so I would definitely check one of these out and this Skyroof is definitely a cool option. Makes, you know, you don't have the fun of removing the top, but it's a lot easier because it's just the press of a single button and boom, everything's all done for you. But yeah, like I said again, I would definitely check out one of these new Wranglers. Here we have it, everyone, the all new 2019 Jeep Wrangler. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought. Leave a like if you liked the video and I will see all of you in that next video.